Howdy ho there friends and neighbors, Bobby here this evening. Hey friends, tonight we're in the kitchen and we're going to make some fudge, okay? We're going to make the type of fudge, it's called fantasy fudge, and the recipe is on the back of a the Jet Puffed Craft Brand Marshmallow Fluff Cream. This is like the best stuff in the world. I remember back when I was a kid, uh, living at home with my parents when I was younger. I remember like uh, 12, 13, 14 years old, some, some person had brought some fudge to school and I thought it was really good. And I come home and I asked my mom, I said, hey, can we make some fudge? And we tried two or three different recipes and none of it quite ever turned out that great until we tried the recipe on the back of this uh, marshmallow fluff stuff. And I've remembered that for years. Uh, so tonight we're gonna perform this for you. I haven't made it in quite some time, but we're gonna give this a try. We've got all our ingredients out here on the uh, counter tonight, already measured off. Um, I'm not gonna bother going over each one of them. We're gonna put the recipe at the bottom of the video for you. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Mint Hill Tina is here with me. She's gonna help focus me and keep me guided. Uh, what do we need to put in the pot first? The evaporated milk. The evaporated milk. And the butter and the sugar. Yep, it calls for this uh, this whole can, right? Five ounces? Correct. So it's five ounces of evaporated milk. We're gonna go ahead and pour that into our pot. We don't have the temperature cut up yet. We're gonna put all this stuff in here and slowly bring this stuff up to temperature. So we're gonna go ahead and pour that in there. And we'll dispose of that. And next is our butter, right? Correct. So we're going, we got three quarters of a cup of butter already measured out here onto a plate. We're going to throw that in there as well. And get all that good butter in there. We'll dispose of that. And now we have three cups of sugar. Is that correct? Yes. We're going to go ahead and put that in the pot. I guess I should have got a spoon. No, I guess there's a spoon be right. beside it. I already got it for you. Okay. So is that, that's what we need, right? Th yep. Three cups of sugar, friends. That's a lot of sugar. Now we're gonna bring it to a boil on medium heat. Medium heat. So we're gonna go what right about about right there, maybe. Halfway. Okay, friends. We're gonna let this uh, cook up and get up to a little bit of temperature here, and then we'll keep stirring this as it goes along. Okay, friends. Hey, we're cooking along here. The concoction is starting to melt a little bit. We're going to keep on moving this around so we don't end up getting anything burning. And while we're doing that, I want to show you one thing you'll have to do. Find you a suitable pan. It recommends like a 9 by 9 uh, pan and go ahead and line it with uh, tin foil to pour the final mixture into when we're totally done. And then you can actually, after it cools, you can quick release it from the tin foil. We didn't have a 9 inch pan, but we had this little pan here that measures like 10 and, and a half, eight. 10 by eight or something like that. So friends, we'll see you in just a few minutes. Okay, friends, hey, we got this thing up to a rolling boil. It took about 10 or 15 minutes maybe to do that. And we're gonna do this for four minutes. We've already set the timer and then we will take it off of the heat at that time. Okay, now it's been four minutes at a rolling boil. And we're gonna move it off of the heat and we are going to um, add our chocolate to our boiling contraption there. And we are going to stir this mixture up as we go here. We'll add the marshmallow fluff and we'll be right back. Yep. Okay, we got the chocolate in. We're trying to get this marshmallow fluff in here. This is a mess, friends. I'll tell you what. I'm about to get my fingers in this now. Luckily I washed them this morning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get some more in here. Yeah, this is a little messy. Now we're gonna stir it's been a while this since I've done this. Melts. Yep. And then we'll add the nuts and the milk. All right, I think that's enough. That's right. enough of that stuff. Okay. So now I'm gonna go ahead and keep on stirring until we get all this mixed up. Okay, we got most of it mixed up pretty good. We got one more ingredient here. We got a teaspoon of vanilla extract that we're gonna add in. And we also have one cup of cashews, okay? Now the recipe calls for walnuts, 
but I've done cashews, and I'll tell you why, friends. Um, I remember watching an episode of Andy Griffith uh, years ago, and Barney was talking about how every Tuesday night he went over to Thelma Lou's house and they ate cashew fudge. And ever since then, I thought that sounded like a pretty good idea to um, have cashew fudge. So um, there you go, friends. That's why I put cashews in my fudge when I make it, like every 10 or 15 years. <laughs> All right, we're going to keep mixing, and then we'll show you how to pour it in the pan. Now for the final step, we got it all mixed up good. We're going to go ahead and pour this mixture into our pan that is lined with tin foil. Let's get all that goodness out of there. There we go, friends. Okay. Hey, that's pretty good. And now we're just going to kind of spread it out a little bit and let this cool. That's about all there is to it. And we'll do a taste test here in a little bit. Okay, folks, hey, we've let our fudge sit for about two hours. We're gonna grab just the tin foil here. We're gonna bring it over here to our um, cutting board. And we're gonna kind of release it a little bit. I'm gonna to try to, well, you know what? I think I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it just like this right here. I was gonna to try to flip it. I don't think it's gonna be necessary. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll cut off a little bit. I'm actually gonna cut this in little squares and we're gonna put it in our Tupperware bowl here. But just for this video here, we're gonna go ahead and cut off a little bit and taste test it. We could have probably let this sit maybe a little while longer. Actually, it's doing pretty good, it firmed up pretty good. Let me cut off just two right here right quick. And notice I got a big knife here. This is a big man's knife. That's what you wanna use when you're cutting fudge. See that knife? That's a man's knife. All right, right here, we'll go ahead and cut off a little piece, cut a couple more little squares. We're gonna taste test this stuff. All righty, here we go. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take this big piece here, right here. Watch this, Look. just look at that. Look at that fudge. Don't that look delicious? Mmm, now that. Hmm, that must have been what Barney and Thelma Lou were thinking the whole time they were eating cashew fudge. Wow. This is delicious. Friends, you have got to get you some of that marshmallow fluff. Follow that recipe on the back. Make you some. This is like one of the best things in the world. Take care, friends. Hope you have a gr great Merry Christmas this year. Don't forget to subscribe. Please like our video. And we will see you later. Take care.